Blessings everyone, this is Sandra. I wanted to update everyone on what is occurring right now with this triple eclipse gateway because there's been some incredible things happening already and I wanted to explain why and what's available and kind of follow up on the article that I wrote last week about uh, new DNA and the rewrites happening with the higher self. So to get started, uh, a lot of folks that were were guided to assist with portal opening and a right in your own backyard kind of thing or traveling to different places to assist in this opening of these gateways. Uh, I, I wanted to say thank you because uh, a lot of us, myself included, guided to get the gateways open that you were guided to or, or, or responsible for, uh, get the gateways open by the second eclipse, which was last week. Um, we got a nice confirmation of why that had to occur uh, by last Thursday, um, because just a, a couple of days later we started getting the X flares. So that's it's beautiful. So I wanted to explain just a couple of things. Again, the the gateways. You don't have to be a gatekeeper to to experience this. So this is this is something that you know gatekeepers. Yes, of course, you know guided to certain things. You know covering immense areas. Uh, immense swaths of land and, and hundreds of miles wide and everything and, and linking them up. But on a, on, a, on a smaller scale, you know, again, have the experience right in your own backyard uh, if, if you, you don't have a, a nature area near you to, to go to. You know, it's always more fun to go to a, a big area that has a lot of nature. But again, you can do this right in your own backyard. Intend to open a fifth, sixth dimensional portal, gateway, to connect the, the crystalline core of Gaia with the interdimensional portals, align them, spin it open, and ask it to pull in the frequencies that are accelerating the shift at this time. And we are sh we are seeing the we're reaping the rewards of this already because there's so many people doing this. And, and when you when you take a look at all the portals that have been in intended and opened all over the planet, it's it's this amazing. To see all of these little golden uh, portals opening up all over the place, and they're starting to coagulate. They're starting to link because the the gatekeepers, you know, were, were really accelerating it. We got very excited with the X flares, so they're starting to link all together, and and that can be your intention too. And and every time you you open something like that, uh, intend to link with the the portals with the same intention to accelerate the shift in consciousness and to accelerate the shift of Gaia, humanity, the kingdoms, the elementals, um, and link it with all, all the other light server portals that have the same intention. And we end up with this, this beautiful um, grid system that links to the crystalline grid. And we, we speed up the shift. So we're using this cosmic trigger to accelerate the shift in consciousness. And here's a, a few technicalities that I got exposed to uh, via download um, last week. So when we're opening up these gateways, and, and, and some of us, you know, again, they're immense, immense, huge through to Sedona, Grand Canyon, you know, southwest right now, up into, up into Shasta, but, but people all over the, especially in the U.S. right now, U.S. seems to be getting a, a, a deep um, opening of those, of those portals. And it's it, there is no you know it, it only goes one direction only flows up only flows down it's wide it's like a big channel of of, of energy where there's there's this this neutrality it's like a golden light structure that's carrying information and it's it's opening it up from from the core of Gaia and then these interdimensional portals start pouring this stuff right in. You know, this is, during any cosmic trigger, there's frequencies available to do certain things. And it's up to the collective to recognize their participation and opportunity for advancement. So, and, and now that we're all moving into, it's not just about my journey, it's about the collective, we have, have learned how to do this and how to link it up We've, we've got our hearts in the right place, you've got the pure intention opening up, and there's some really interesting things happening to people who are working with these gateways right now. So the frequencies coming in, uh, and this is why people are having these experiences, and it could be simply from someone standing in their backyard, they're, they're feeling spinning energy, they're feeling overwhelming presence, 
uh, arriving and, and assisting. They're seeing golden light codes. They're seeing the golden crystalline light come in. And we're starting to experience pure source light intelligence. And that isn't the, it, it goes beyond the, I, I feel like I'm everything, everywhere, multiverse kind of thing. There is a, a, a complete resonance where you get into the, the stillness of absolute unconditional love, absolute non-judgment, absolute lack of agenda, which is kind of interesting because when you connect with, with, with source in the past, you get a sense of that and you, you, know, you feel like you're above and now it feels like uh, uh, completely different where there is that um, a complete lack of intention. It's not trying to do anything. And as we get into that resonance, that absolute stillness, it starts to affect your life stream. Where it's like, I don't, I don't really feel like trying to do anything except my spiritual work right now. Or things just aren't happening. Things aren't clicking into place and trying to do things. It's not happening. Why, why, why? Because you're supposed to pay attention right now. And paying attention means getting still, get your, you know, get your, your butt on, on the ground, uh, on the planet, standing, barefoot, whatever, connect and bring these, these frequencies in. And not just for you, you know, if you want to receive that, you get into that unconditional state. And it's, it's, overwhelming because as you expand out, you know, those of you who have done the, the expansion exercises from the course, as you expand out the particles of your beingness, the, the, it's not just the frequencies coming in to create those crystalline structures to speed up you holding more light, but it's also allowing for all the, the, the realms that have been operating on the planet to go away. So what does that look like? I'll get to the, the incoming in a second. But for for now, it has to do with identity, beliefs. You know, we've talked about how ego, mind, emotions have nothing to do with you. Body consciousness, completely separate. And now we're taking away the the identity levels, the beliefs. And and again, you know, on a on a macro level, it looks like religion or religion or government you know it, you you see changes starting starting to hit there that's you know collective level macrocosm level never think that it has nothing to do with you you are all that so uh, on our side on your in your life stream level it, it's hitting your beliefs you know government structures it, it's dealing with control issues that you have and part of that control part of the beliefs uh, that, that a lot of, of folks have is identifying with roles, star systems, you know, all it, the, the intention of, of the new paradigm is not to create new belief systems. You know, we're not creating a new religion here. Um, where it's going away, you know, just like the, the Akashic Records getting deleted, all of that stuff is going away because it is not applicable to the new paradigm. It doesn't matter, you know, all of that stuff. And, and But here's the thing, during, during the New Age phase, you know, the, the New Age was a little obsessed with past journeys. Here's what I used to be. Here's the, the star system that I'm from. Here's, I used to be this because I saw it in a, in a regression or whatever. And it's, all of that is dissolving right now if you're willing to let that go. And when you let it go, you start experiencing more of a brand new skills, a brand new state of beingness. You'll start attracting uh, folks into your life that are also in that unconditional, very powerful state. And that is, you know, the step before the cosmic Christed state of beingness. Again, you're not walking around like Yeshua. This is about getting into uh, a state that even the, the ascended masters could not accomplish while in the body, where you are in that, you know, the solar heart starts opening up, and the cosmic Christ, cosmic Christ is a, a state of consciousness. It's not a being. It's a state of consciousness where you are a pure expression of the multiverse, of the entire cosmos. You know, that is, that is an, an extremely uh, powerful state of consciousness. And it's not about control, it's not about hierarchy, it's about neutrality. And that pure state of neutrality 
is what is what brings in more of the same. So it's going to look like, you know, just take my, my personal journey. I, I am an Ascension Guide. I am a part of the Pleiadian Syrian Alliance. I, you know, used to be a shaman. I've had journeys through Lyra. I am a gatekeeper. You know, all, all of the stuff that we, I did, I'm, I'm a sister. I am a, a daughter. You know, all the, we, we tend to think we're, we're the sum of all these parts and like, oh, I got it. All the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. They kind of aren't, you know, <laughs> the, the pieces of the puzzle this actually has nothing to do with, with who you truly are, you know, it's an experience, but it's all going away. You know, part of the, the dissolvement of the illusion and the more of us that want the dissolvement and that you're like, bring down the veils, let, let me see the truth. And, and the more you get into that, the more it will say, uh, it, you, you're not actually a daughter. You're not actually a sister. You're not actually a guide. You're not actually this, that, the, all that going away, going away. 798 incarnations, who cares? You know, 10,000 years in Orion, who cares? You know, uh, uh, dimensional expressions all the way through Pleiades, you know, Syrian, Arctur, everything, gone. You know, and, and the less that we identify with it, thinking that that's who I am, and I am Arcturian, and therefore I behave this way, you know, the, the things that uh, explain away your behavior or make you feel more powerful. You know, a lot of people cling to that as identification. And and at the same time, they'll say, I'm a multidimensional being. Well, well multidimensional, we're, we're talking about embodying and activating codes for the entire universe. You know, again, the, the true state of the human genome, you know, the, the 12 strand gold prize, you know, that that's coming in right now. Th this is something that holds the codes for the entire universe. It's that cosmic crystalline state, cosmic Christ. You know, that's where we're going. And cosmic Christ does not, um, I d you know, Yeshua didn't walk around talking about the star system he was from. You know, he's a cosmic being. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. He's not, and I live on, <laughs> you know, Vega or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. And, and as we kind of collapse all of that and let it go away, and and that's beliefs about everything, beliefs about the external, and then you you know crush the the beliefs about about the internal. But it's the willingness to open up to it, to not identify. You know, a bit of a non-identity crisis going on because you're like, wait, if I don't know who I am, you know, you don't know what to do. You're like, um, get there get there because when you're wide open that's when the magic happens and not only that it's a state of resonance so so dna the stuff that i wrote about uh last week is um all right in in the simplest terms you know dna is is light first structure later so the the light codes coming in right now we've got beautiful solaris Give her some sunglasses. So we've got beautiful Solaris beaming like oh, everyone's hung up. Why did she say her? Okay, get over it. You know, again, Solaris, not male, not female. Great cosmic, a great cosmic light that we have. And and now that the, the sun, Solaris, has, has gone quadrupolar, broadcasting brand new frequencies, and, uh, you know, everyone who was told, you know, get the, get the gates open, by by last Thursday, by that second eclipse, uh, Solaris gave us a, a big, big thank you and a, a, a thumbs up, keep going kind of thing. Because here, here we go, you know, four X class flares. We got a couple of M's, and you know, more more on the way. So during this gateway, you know, this this is going to happen. But when when uh, humans divine humans on the ground, creator incarnate, getting into that creator state of consciousness, bring in, you know, you, you create that resonance that is source, a pure source expression, not concerned about its self, not concerned about, you know, free of the self, free of the illusion, and just wide open, commanding these gateways open, you know, you're not doing it to look how powerful I am, you know, that's God complex, we're not talking about that, we're talking about 
in service, in pure service. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, Gaia, with your blessing, I'm going to open a gateway here. Every, everybody cool with that? All right, great. And, and you go for it. And we create all these openings that are, are starting to get linked through the, through the crystalline beds, through all the, all the layers of the planet. You know, we got five, six, you know, all these different layers of the planet starting to align. We've got a, a Lemurian alliance going on, you know, all kinds of things. But as these, as these, um, these great flares, which are, are, are not actually flares, you know, it, it, I don't know if anyone noticed, well, I know the, the Gals and Mystic Sisters, we're, we're all fascinated by this, because you felt the flare as it happened, uncanny, just, just you know, and here it was Sunday night, Mother's Day, when, when the first one hit here in the U.S., and, and it goes off, and, and, you know, we're all turning into this Jedi state where you're like, there's a disturbance in the force, you know, <laughs> you could feel it, it was like, it, it went right through the heart center and just kind of, you know, lit you up, and you were like, whoa, what just happened? And it, you know, it wasn't until, until the second one, where we're like, I'm going to check this out, you know, go online, you're like, x flare, wow, how is, you know, we, we didn't used to feel them when they went off you, and then the, the magnetic storm, you know, two, two linear days later, or whatever, you're like, Pfft. It's nothing now, you know, like, okay, you know, and, and it's because, well, first of all, the magnetosphere is like, you know, paper thin at this point. And, and so the magnetic storms, you're like, yeah, I've been in a magnetic storm for like two years, you know, we're, we're getting very accustomed to it. And, and we're integrating much, much faster than, than we used to. But to feel, you know, those of us who are, who are gatekeepers or working with these portals, you felt those, those X flares, the moment they happened, you know, and this is because, I mean, first we got collapse of the, of the buffer between, you know, the, the lag time between uh, uh, action and your, and your reality, you know, so, something happens like that, it's like, just like that, we're, we're in such resonance with the planet, the solar consciousness, galactic center, I mean, this is this, we're moving into this cosmic state of everywhere all at once you know that that complete resonance of of co-creating this shift in consciousness this ascension of planet humanity elementals kingdoms you're going to notice that the uh, the birds especially just love a portal you know that they just they're attracted to you they're showing up the elementals are starting to reflect you know, different geometry, or the, the, the wind all of a sudden just dies completely, and they're like paying attention, you know, you're creating fields of resonance that bring this stuff in, and not only that, but when you're in that resonance, opening this gateway, you're creating that, that source consciousness resonance that allows for you to have these direct downloads, integration of this new frequency and the new frequencies that are coming in right now contain DNA. DNA from outer space. Here we go. All right, so DNA is um, light. There's been a lot of experiments done with this lately too, which is kind of cool. But, uh, but DNA is, you know, you break it open and it'll blind you. It's full of photons. And as we, as we get bombarded by more and more uh, photonic light coming in through our, our solar gateway, it's uh, not just activating the stuff that's already in your cells. If you're opening to it, willing, commanding, getting in resonance, you know, getting the things out of the way that, that, uh, that block the upgrade. But as this new stuff comes in and you're in resonance with a, a supreme light frequency, you're getting the you're getting the supreme upgrade. You know, it's vibration equals vibration. It's pretty it's pretty easy physics. But the but the the light codes that are coming in, um, some might 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 see them as you know long strings of of light codes. Um, and it doesn't matter what you see. Just know that you can welcome in new DNA because there there's been I don't, I don't know if y'all noticed there's been a lot of distortion <laughs> happening with DNA uh, on the planet. And we have, uh, you know, we, we can only do so much with the stuff that's within us. And then we can also welcome in uh, DNA that will, that will, you know, have kind of a, a chain reaction through the body. You know, you get a few cells that, that can bring in 
the, uh, the, the light signature of a 12-strand DNA, and it, it replicates, you know, because it's vibration equals vibration. The higher vibration is always going to, going to uh, raise the lower vibration, even when it comes to DNA. So, and, and that's what we're trying to embody so that we can pull everybody up and we can all have fun and be free from, from any illusion. So when you're, when you're free from the illusion and you're opening yourself up to this, these light signatures of the, the new D DNA, and I've asked time and time again, What's it look like? What's it look like? They're like, forget about it. I was like, oh, come on, you know. So, so I I have a feeling that's actually changing all the time. You know, people talk about templates, and and we were talking about this on the Mystic Sisters call today too. I was like, I wouldn't use any templates that are more like a than a month old at this point. It's changing so quickly because we're we're taking on and accelerating our process, our ascension, so quickly. But it does it. You know, we're we're getting taught over and over again. To be in the moment, be in the moment, be in the now, be open and willing to the change. Forget who you were, forget last minute, forget what you did yesterday. It forces you to be in the moment, you know, and, and the higher levels will always take stuff out of the way if you're pushing to, you know, this was the plan, this is what I wanted to do. They're like, yoink, you know, for, forget it. And it, it just teaches you to be in in the now as much as possible and to pay attention because this is you know this is pretty interesting so so these these light frequencies come in not in form they come in light first photonic photonic light comes into the body vehicle you're welcoming it in and it goes into a cell and it becomes dna so the, the, the DNA, when, when activated, you know, sometimes you're, you're just working with codes and then it turns into form. Sometimes it's rewriting the cells around it, next to it. You can, you can do all of your cells at the same time. Give me as much as I can handle. I wouldn't command fully activate my 12-strand DNA here and now to the full and complete ascended fifth dimensional state unless you want your, your body to leave the planet, <laughs> you know, um, it, pace yourself, you know, what's ever in the highest interest of the collective, you know, if you've done the, the soul release, you're not even thinking about your own journey, you're like, well, whatever is the, the highest thing I can experience at this time is good, you know, not, not afraid at, at all, but if you, uh, and the, the soul release, people are like, what, she's talking about soul release, you know, take the course, all right, so the soul release is not, you know, you're not getting rid of your soul, but it used to be kind of a micromanager for your for your incarnational journeys, and now you don't have to incarnate anymore. Karma, you know, you're busting up karma everywhere. All the chains are coming off. And now that your journey is opening up, the, the soul release, you know, soul's like, oh, maybe I should start thinking about the highest interests of, of the collective, you know, and the soul starts releasing to the oversoul, and you get this, you know, I, I wrote about this last week, but it's it's all... You know, everything is changing. So even the, the this structure of oversoul and everything, and I, I heard it was Rishi, and I heard it was Avatar and everything, it can be whatever you want to call it. Don't identify with it. Be open. Just be source. You know, go go for the highest level if you need to. I am what? You know, I, I am. You know, I am is just, it's just that beingness. It doesn't need a... A reason to exist. It doesn't need an excuse to exist. It doesn't need a title. It just is. You just are. It's just an experience, you know. So this is um, have a little bit more fun with it. And when it comes to the 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 personal journey, go ahead and and welcome in that new DNA. You know, if you would picture it floating into your cells, however, you know, be creative about it. This isn't something that someone else does to you. You know, this is something that you welcome in when you're ready, but this is available right now. This is what the X flares are about. It's light encodements. And and you're gonna find that when you you know when you close your eyes and you're you're taking a glance through at your higher self or your higher levels or through your, your third eye, it's all like brilliant golden light. You might even see, you know, since I went to Chaco, I've got like little like like um uh, like static electric lightning threads running through through the ground you're like you know like wow what's going on you know and it's just this it's this activation and it's it's allowing us to to uh, it's allowing Gaia to align with her fifth dimensional expression us to start you know not start 
but to to kind of get over the separation of I'm trying to bring in my higher self. You know, you're, we, we've already started the incarnating the higher self process, and now there's a great blending and a partnership going on. I found this with, with a couple of, of true light servers, is, um, and, and even Ryan. A shout out to Ryan and Team Light. Love you guys. It was brilliant to, to meet you here in Sedona. But, um, but part of our, part of our chit chat was, I kind of feel like I'm directing the higher self sometimes, you know, and that's part of the, part of the merge is taking on your wisdom, you know, and as this stuff is coming on and you're in resonance, you know, the key is resonance, 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 because as, as we all know, and as I will now remind you, in your heart center, and if you're if you're talking about you know solar heart center, you're sending out these beautiful you know Fibonacci spirals that when they when they get to perfection, which is unconditional, absolutely unconditional, unconditional love, no matter what, no matter what the external presents or whatever, your the the illusion has no effect anymore. You're, all, you're always going to be, you know, in, in direction. There's going to be things that, that you're guided to experience. But this is unwavering. Absolute love, no matter what. Absolute respect, absolute honoring for every single thing on the planet. That might be difficult for a lot of people to get over what has happened in the past. But we have to remember that the, all of that stuff that we believed we were. That goes for belief, beliefs about the collective, beliefs about others, beliefs about, you know, um, <laughs> when I mentioned non, non-judgment on, on a Zany Mystic show, somebody actually wrote me, they're like, wow, those judgmental people are really going to get it. <laughs> I was like, okay, you just missed the point, you know, you're judging. So this is, you know, absolute unconditional state. And when you start experiencing that pure source consciousness, you will feel absolutely no agenda. Absolutely not. You're not even an intention trying to fix the, the planet. Abs- and and the, the more that you can get into that absolute source resonance, the more that you bring in the new DNA, the new activations, the new light frequencies that carry that activation. Again, vibration equals vibration. You get your, your, your heart in the right place, and not just, I love everybody except that guy, you know, forget it. You know, this is everything, all that is, all of existence, everything that happened and is going to happen. I'm cool with all of it. Absolute neutrality. When you get in that state, and especially when you're doing this portal work, I, I guarantee you, go outside, sit, sit on the ground, throw some crystals around you, doesn't matter what geometry you use, what kind of crystal, get over the beliefs. Do your own thing. Be creative and do it. You know, technically, you don't even need the crystals, but we're linking them right now, so it'd be nice if you put some in the ground. <laughs> but but go ahead and get in that state. You're going to feel it, because when you have that intention in the highest interest of all concerned, expand, open, and bring in the fifth, sixth dimensional activations. Gaia, with your blessing, receive these. You breathe it in. <sighs> you know, right into the core and expand, you know, same creator breath that we've been using for for a while now. Go ahead and do that. Be in the core of the planet. Be the, the neutral, pure source light intelligence that you truly are. And these, these threads of light and these light encodements and these new DNA possibilities, again, you know, it's, it's a wave. So it's like, I, I could be anything. But when I find something that's that's resonating with the same wave, yay! We got ourselves some love, you know, and that's that's when the activation happens, and you'll you'll notice the the body vehicle starting to have moments of deep integration where it's like blank, you know, oh, okay, you know, and and you just have to kind of pay attention, take it, try not to overthink it, try not to guess is this the activation or what, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, be open, be open, be in that loving state. Gratitude, say thank you. Thank you, I love you. Even if that's all you say all day long, <laughs> you're, you're there and you mean it. You know, it's not words. We're not talking about witchcraft. That's gone. 
you know, like I said before, notice it doesn't work anymore. Because the heart, the heart resonance, this resonance of the true creator state has nothing to do with, did I say the right words? Did I put down the right geometry? Did I use the right color? Did I light the right candle? That's all in the past. Thank God. You know, we're done. It's served for a while. We're moving on. And this is, you know, the, this is, we're, we're ahead of the class. You know, we're, we're taking off with this stuff. So this is available during the Triple e Eclipse Gateway. And, and again, that is nothing but a cosmic trigger that on, on certain timelines, we're dealing with many different possibilities for collective amplification of the ascension process. So as these things come up, you have the opportunity, you're like, okay, we're going to seize this opportunity. And as a collective, okay, we're going to put the pen away. Yeah, it's serious. Okay, so as a collective, we, all of us, everybody watching this video has the power. This is not about hierarchy. This is about you are me in the cash. Okay, we are all doing this. You as creator incarnates. Uh, get the opportunity to accelerate the shift in consciousness, and it would be very kind and very effective in the highest interests of everyone concerned. If you would, please open up a fifth, sixth dimensional portal, gateway, not just within your heart, not just within your thoughts, but physically, on the ground, go outside, do it, open it up. Yes, the first hit came, you know, Sunday, Monday, uh, but we have more coming in, and the more of us that, you know, open this up with the intention of linking with every light server's portals and gateways, with the intention of accelerating the shift in consciousness for humanity, Gaia, the kingdoms and elementals. And we're working with all of this right now, and you're going you're gonna to find the, the, the results are, are fantastic. So go ahead and amplify that. You know, um, like I've said in previous videos, uh, you know the, the 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 other team. You know it's not a battle, but 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 the the other folks who have been using these these triggers for um, uh, for things that were not in the highest interest of all concerned, or to keep people in fear. You know we're we're finally uh, up to date in our process, so we're like mm, cosmic trigger, probably a good idea to utilize it for good. So here here we are. Uh, we have what seven days until the the eclipse. Um, on in America, it's it's May twenty fourth next Friday at like eight thirty Pacific time. Uh, but but please take the time to go and set that intention and do a little work outside. You know, put your crystals however you want. You know, stick something that even one, stick it in the ground or wave your hand over it. Whatever you want to do, open it up. If you if you feel so guided to to have. Uh, you know, some, some guards around there, you know, the angelic realms are, are, are good at that. Uh, but, uh, but we certainly have the support. And, and the gatekeepers will, um, you know, we, we got it. Don't worry, nothing bad's going to get in. It's, uh, there, there's huge platinum rays around everything right now. It's incredible. So, do, you know, get participate, please. This is our opportunity to accelerate the, the shift for everyone. And it's not about... Again, the intention, not about dissolving the dark, getting rid of those bad guys. If you want to experience this, the resonance has to be there. You can't, you know, you can't fight war. You can't create peace with with trying to crush something else. You know, note the the control that you feel. It's just fear. It's just fear. I, I'm going to be con controlled or whatever. We're we're getting rid of confinement. And the way that you get rid of that, that sense of confinement, like I'm not sure it's safe, is to face it. You know, face the dragon. <laughs> Pleiadians are laughing right now. Uh, th this is, you know, you have to step up to the plate and go, mm -mm, absolutely no fear, I am. And you, you go ahead and, and do the work and feel it. You know, you don't, it's not a lot of, of work. There's not a lot of work. You know, the, the heavy lifting is being, being done by, by a lot of other people on the planet. So if, if you want to, you know, get a couple people together, if you feel that that makes it stronger, uh, it's beautiful. And you don't, don't attach yourself to, you know, me and my portal. You know, it's just link up with everybody else with that intention to use these new frequencies to bring in 
highest quality DNA activation, the highest quality DNA into my system, the highest quality frequencies to accelerate the shift. And, you know, it's, it's working. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Don't worry about the future. Forget about your past. Be here right now. Exciting time. Thank you so much if you're participating. I really appreciate it. All of us really appreciate it. I am in the cash. I love you. <laughs> Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the gateway. Namaste.